Hi, I'm Robin, and I'm going to uh, show you how to run a bioenergy test on the CPX Express. Also, we're going to do some little troubleshooting tips. So, first thing in the morning when you come in, I want you to turn on the bike, turn on your power pack, and then turn on your machine. And that's going to take 30 minutes for it to warm up. While it's warming up, make sure there's nothing wrong with the pneumatac. I mean, this is the umbilical, that everything is good, it's nice and clean, all the pins, and it's seated nicely in the uh, calibration box. So, let's say it's warmed up, it's been 30 minutes. What you're going to do is click on the desktop. You're going to double click on the uh, express icon, and then a screen will come up that has the patient's last name, first name, date of birth, you know, gender. You're going to fill all that out. Um, date of birth or heights in inches, of course, and their uh, weight is in pounds. Now, with the icons on the bottom, every Express comes with a manual, operator's manual. This will show you everything about the icons and what they do. So get very familiar with that. It'll also show you how to do the FVC, the forced vital capacity, so which we do for the bioenergy. All right, so we have everything here, and we're ready to go. So our patients come. We're going to hit the little pneumatac. Your express automatically uh, zero flows. Then you're going to hit the O2 at the bottom. It's going to calibrate predictions. We're just going to let it read the pressure, the barometric pressure, the temperature, and the humidity in the room. That's what's wonderful about the Express. It does it all for you. Now it's going to give you a, a, a timers come up and tells you when it's ready to test. It's five minutes. Another screen has come up and you're going to now have your patient do their blood pressure standing, their blood pressure sitting, their body fat, which you're going to use this to calibrate your body fat, which each machine comes with. And all you're going to, and it has a free wheel at the upper right hand corner. If there's a number in there, what you're going to do is put a zero for a free wheel. That means you'd want the bike to start ramping immediately and not free wheel for two minutes. We want it to start working immediately. Now, here for our, our, we have the bike. Now we're going to choose a ramp. We're going to find out from our patient how much they exercise, how physically fit are they. If they're sedentary, you're going to ramp the bike at four. If they're elderly, you're going to ramp the bike at four. This means the bike's going to ramp very slowly. If they're an athlete and you're going to ramp the bike at 18 to 30, you're going to, the bike ramps faster. So that's all that means. So here you're going to take their blood pressure. You're going to do it sitting, it's 120, let's say over uh, 75. And they're standing, let's say is 118 over 68. Body fat is 23%. Now we're just waiting for the, um, the number to count down to zero so we're ready to test. Also during this time, you're putting on the heart rate monitor on your patient. So you're getting that ready. You're going to put on the monitor on the receiver part. You, uh, you're going to put either gel or salted water. So it has good contact and you put it around their chest. And what else? Again, we can test to make sure. Look at our lines. Our lines are nice and connected. Everything's connected good to our tanks. Once the clock has uh, ticked down to zero, the screen is going to change at the bottom. It says press calibration button. So what we're going to do now is open our gas tanks. We're going to take them. We're going to open each side. And we're going to make sure there's plenty of pressure in the tank. PSI for the Express is five, and five only, on both tanks. If the tanks get below quarter full, you're going to want to change your tanks. That's a kind of little uh, tip for you. So once 
Then you're going to hit, now that the tanks are open, you're going to hit the little VO2 icon and it's performing AutoCal. This takes a few minutes. You can hear the tanks kind of buzzing. And what we're doing is autocaling everything here. These are what these lines are for. These lines should be changed once a year. The umbilical, depending if you don't get it wet or anything, it should last you several years. So anyway, we're just waiting for it to autocal. It's looking good. Pressure's good in the tanks. And we've passed. Now, sometimes it'll say it failed. If it fails, nothing to it. There's a retry button. You can hit that retry button up to five times. Keep hitting it until it finally passes. Sometimes it just takes a little longer than normal. Now, if it doesn't pass, what you're going to do is make sure your pressure's right and your PSI is right on each tank, you're going to make sure the clip is seated properly. And then try it again. And then usually it'll just uh, totally, you know, uh, pass. So then you're just going to hit OK. Now we're going to get the pneumatac prepared. This is the pneumatac. Has a perforated side, has an open side. You're going to take your umbilical you're going to make sure this is seated properly with the notch to the indentation on the pneumatac. You're going to insert that. After that, you're going to put it into your mouthpiece. Make sure the, the umbilical is always up. Here we, here we have our lovely um, patient. She already has on her heart rate monitor. What you're going to do is put this, tell her to put this in her mouth, rest her teeth on those pegs. Excellent. You're going to plug her nose. Then you're going to hit the little green arrow. We're going to start the test. This is the heart rate receiver. You're going to point it to the monitor around her chest. Now on the screen, <clears throat> You can see VCO2, VO2, RERs, RRs, and heart rate. RERs are respiratory exchange rate. RRs are respiratory rate, how fast they're breathing, and of course the heart rate monitor. So what we're looking at are the RRs. We're seeing how fast they're breathing. If it's 18 and above, they're not relaxed. They're breathing fast. You're trying to keep them calm, nice and calm. No yoga breathing, just regular breathing like you're taking a nap. If the RERs are <clears throat> a little high, above 1.05, you're going to see if they ate or if, um, you know, they're showing that they're very, very nervous. Or there could be a leak. Make sure the pneumatac is seated properly with the umbilical. Now, if that doesn't work, some people just cannot take the mouthpiece. Let's take this out. What we're going to do is add a mask, which you can get through MedGraphics. It'll need a grommet, which you will put into the mask. You put the pneumatac into the mask. Same thing with the umbilical up. You're going to have to remove glasses. You're going to ask your patient to hold the, the seam, put that under their chin. What they're going to do is put this up and over and down. Make sure this is seated properly. If you put this over their head, it takes any pressure off. They can breathe through their nose or their mouth with this piece on. And sometimes within a minute you can tell they're much more relaxed, everything's fine, and you can continue with your test. This part of the test takes seven minutes. Once this part of the test is done, everything looks good, RERs are good, they're down, uh, down at point, let's say 0.85, 0.75, that's perfect. Their heart rate uh, uh, is perfect. 
and their respiratory rate is down in the 10 and the 9s, that means they're nice and relaxed and everything's fine. So then we just wait and that's it. Now we can have them, let's say the test is finished. What we're going to ask our patient, step down, walk over to the bike. Very good. Just pretend, doesn't matter. I'm gonna to have to move this closer. And here they go. You're gonna ask the patient to only keep the RPMs on 60. The bike's gonna ramp itself automatically. You're gonna hit the little running icon. It's gonna ask you to confirm exercise. You say yes. And there we go. Now, once again, we're looking at the RERs, the respiratory exchange rate. We're looking at the heart rate. We're looking at the um, respiratory rate also. She's looking good. Usually when they get on the bike and they start pedaling, they're nice and relaxed. Very good, perfect. Her RERs are excellent, 0.88. Her heart rate is excellent. She's doing good. All we want her to do is pedal, keep it on the 60. The bike will ramp itself. Now, after she's been on the bike for a while, it can take 10, 20, 30 minutes before her to become anaerobic. What we're talking about anaerobic is the RER number. The, the magic number is 1.05. We have to keep that count at 1.05 once she reaches that for one minute. If it drops below 1.05, which it'll do, down to 1.03 or 99, we have to wait till it hits 1.05 again to start the count again. Once she has that 1.05 for one minute, we can put her into recovery. She's in recovery, all the watts come off, everything's coming off, her RERs will now climb very fast. Don't worry, that's perfect. That's an absolutely perfect test. She, she does this for one minute until her heart rate's below 130. Then after that, all you have to do is take this off. There you good. You can tell your patient to get off the bike and sit down. What you're going to do now is click the little green button. Gives you your recovery time. Perfect. Then we're going to hit the little red button to stop the test. It's going to ask you if you want to turn the pump off. You're going to say yes. And then it's going to ask you if you want to uh, select a test credit or use a test credit. And you're going to say yes. If you hit no, you're going to lose all your data. All right. Now we're ready for the FVC, which is the lung function. You're going to hit the back button on the express. And then there's a little thing. It looks like a lung, I'm, I'm assuming is right there. What you're going to do is take your pneumatac, insert it, uh, your umbilical, insert it into your pneumatac. You're going to ask the patient to put the perforated side in their mouth. The umbilical is up. You're going to plug their nose. That's perfect. You're going to hit the little lung. And we're going to need three good uh, tests for the lung function. So all you're going to have to do is hit that little green button. You're going to tell the patient to breathe normally. Then you're going to tell them nice and gentle, push all the air out. Then you're going to ask them to take a deep breath in as big as they can. Then they're going to blow. Fast and hard, keep pushing, push, 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 push. The screen will tell you when it's green, you're going to hit fine, and there it is. 
and you're going to select that test by checking in the little square box. We're going to need two or more of those tests. Hit the green button. Breathe normally. When you're ready, nice and gentle, push it out. Take a deep breath in when you're ready and blow. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Very good. Push, push, push. Perfect. Turns green. We got an excellent test. It's checked. One more is all we need. When you're ready, push all the air out. Take a deep breath in when you're ready. And blow. Push, 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 push. And there we go. Take a deep breath in. Excellent. We got our lung function. Nothing to it. You're going to reset your umbilical because you don't want it to get wet whatsoever. You're going to reset it back in its little port. And then all you're going to do is hit the green, the back button. And we're just going to print. There's a little uh, icon at the very bottom right. You're going to print it. Now there's a summary which you're going to print, which goes to your doctor. There's a bioenergy test which you're going to print. That goes to the patient. It's a 10-page report. And then there's a bite time down. That tells you minute by minute everything that was happening with your RERs, your RRs, your heart rate, everything. So you're going to print one of those because the doctor will probably want to see it. And you're done with your test. Thank you.